Hey, welcome back to The Car Doctor. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for the likes and subscriptions to my channel. I appreciate it. Hey, today we got just a quick sad story on a Dodge Ram 1500 that came in and the customer was complaining that he installed rear brakes, calipers and uh, whatnot on the back and uh, found that uh, he wasn't getting any fluid out of the calipers uh, in the middle of the bleeding procedure. So I thought, well, maybe it was some type of uh, uh, bleed procedure or ABS bleed or something like that that I needed to do uh, to get this thing bled out and back on the road, but it really wasn't the case. And unfortunately, um, I popped the hood on this thing and started checking. So I went to pull the brake fluid reservoir cap and uh, the little black gasket came popping out. And uh, as you can see, it's about twice the normal size. It won't even fit back in. Oh, there it goes. Um, so it's all what I call flubberized. Um, and some type of Petro product has come into contact with the uh, with silicone rubber and just deteriorated it turned it all flubbery and uh, as you can see by the fluid you know it really looks like power steering fluid to me um, it's just gross um, look at that crap yuck <laughs> so anyway uh, it's not a good thing uh, anytime that you get any type of oil contamination in your hydraulic brake system, it flubberizes all the rubber components of the system. Uh, and really, the only uh, legitimate repair you can do at this point is replace everything that has rubber. Uh, and, and then clean the system out with alcohol or some type of brake clean, and, and then flush the system and uh, well, you'd want to do that before you uh, put the new parts on, get it completely flushed out and replace all the rubber parts. So all the brake hoses, the rubber brake hoses, uh, the brake master cylinder, and all the calipers. And uh, in this case, possibly the ABS module down here, which also has rubber seals in it. And it's probably going to be fried. So this guy's looking at... Uh, I don't know, three to five grand uh, or, or more uh, in repairs to get this thing back on the road. It's super unfortunate and uh, probably just uh, happened because somebody uh, grabbed the power steering fluid instead of the DOT3 brake fluid and got hosed. So be careful about that and watch, watch for that. If you're having brake system issues and you pull the reservoir cap, and the little boot thing just pops out and it's all flubberized, you probably got a contamination issue and, uh, you know, you, you, you can't, you can't uh, put new wine in old wineskins. They'll burst. So you're going to have to replace everything. All right. Well, it's just an unfortunate day at uh, the Car Doctor Studios. But, hey, we'll get it turned around here. And I do appreciate you stopping by the shop. I have been a little bit busy and haven't posted as many videos as I wish I could. But uh, we're going to change that here very soon. All right, you guys. Hey, you take care. Have a good one. Bye.